Hi friends, welcome back to R Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for beginners. Today's episode we are going to learn about how to install RxJS. A lot of times when you work with frameworks like Angular, you don't have to install RxJS separately, right? Because it's already pre-built, inbuilt, and it's shipped along with Angular. But a lot there is a lot of misperception that you can only use RxJS with Angular. No, that's not true. You can use RxJS in literally any project that you want as long as your requirement is there. Just to make sure that it's not over complicating your application unnecessarily. But when you work with most commonly used leading front-end frameworks like Angular, Vue, you will find yourself using RxJS some or other way, right? Even in React. So that being said, I will show you how to do installation and I'll also cover some pieces of Angular just to make sure that you're comfortable in your journey of RxJS. Welcome back friends, my name is Sridhar. This is the RxJS full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you keep checking that playlist so that when I'm adding daily, I'm I'll try and add a video for you in the playlist. So this is the part two of the RxJS tutorial playlist. In the previous episode, we have learned about the basic introduction and overview of RxJS. So I'll just, for the, our viewers who are joining us new in this particular um, episode, a quick note on what is RxJS. RxJS is a library for composing asynchronous and event-based programs by using observable sequences. In the previous episode, we have covered in detail about what is an observable. We have seen some examples of types like observer, and we have also seen operators these are all overview i'm going to cover each operator each of these in detail in coming episodes so don't worry even if you don't follow some now all right so let's talk about installation right so there are multiple ways you can use rxjs right and you can use rxjs literally in any project that you want uh, a lot of times people think rxjs is built inside only angular no that's not true uh, you can use rxjs with view with react with angular Right? You can also use it as a standalone in your application, which is built in JavaScript, right? So you can use it as a CDN link, which means you can just copy this link and include it as script, right? Source equal to this link, and you can use it just like any other JS file. Uh, it's just another JS file that you will include in your application, and you can use that. The second way to do is to install it in your application via npm install, right? So this is a, another yet another commonly used technique that most of people so if you have some application and you do npm install rxjs that's it it would be installed you don't have to be in angular project to do this you can do it anywhere in any sort of application right so you can install it and start using it the the way that mostly i will cover in this particular tutorial is with angular right but we never do npm install rxjs in angular because if you check the if you check your package.json files that comes with angular cli projects you would you should see an entry of rxjs already right so this is you see it's already there because angular uses rxjs for routing for event capturing http uh, response so there's a lot of places where angular uses rxjs and hence it's already inbuilt that's why we don't install it right but how, like I said, if you want to use it in your project, which is not Angular, right? Or it's just a vanilla, pure vanilla JavaScript, you can still go ahead, do an NPM install, and you can still use it. There is no uh, restriction. There is no concept that it can be used only with Angular, right? So you, it's also an interview question where a lot of people ask you, can we use RxJS outside of Angular, right? So the answer is yes, we can use it by either as a CDN link, or as an npm module by installing npm install rxjs all right uh, that being said that covers the basic ground for us and it's starting next episode i will cover operators and some first i'll cover some concepts a lot of uh, basic javascript like promises observables etc and then we will get started with uh, the operators of rxjs i hope it would be easy i hope i'll try and make it as simple as it for you uh, and try and make it with simple examples so you can learn it if you like the video give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much